Thanks, Mr. Chairman. I'm going to present the paper, Viral Sensor Mode for Israel Pest Detection. But first, I want to comment the goal of this paper. It is to design a wireless sensor mode for air snake pet detection. For this, the mode should have low power consumption and should be low cost. This presentation will be divided into the following sections. Introduction, the night sensor, video sensor network mode implementation, event and results, and finally, the conclusion. I am going I am going, uh, I'm going to start with the introduction. Snails are the cause of many agricultural and economic losses. The for early detection of snail pests is very important in agriculture. Nowadays, the farmers regularly use pesticides, uh, which have high economic impact and collateral effects. As an example, sorry, as an example here, I show I, I, see, I show you defense uh, immunosuicides in Spain. Is it, it is a relevant cause. Because of the nail activity is only at night and the snails search for a refuge to rest and escape from predators, we make a shelter for them where they can be detected. The, the shelter is a PVC tube with 25 centimeter high and 5 centimeter of diameter. The, the sensor is placed at the, at the top of the shelter. Here we, we can see the total appearance of the shelter. Now I'm going to speak about different kind of, kinds of possible of possible sensors to, uh, to detect the snail activity. The multimedia wireless sensor network lets a single interpretation with a camera and a companion chip, but the multimedia systems are both expensive and power hungry. In this slide, I show you the ultrasound based sensor, but they aren't adequate in our approach because they emit and being caused many reflections on the walls of the nail shelter, giving rise to false alarms. Other kinds of sensors are the capacitive the capacity, capacity detectors, but they have a short detection range and will need a very complex structure in the shelter. The photoelectric sensor uses a light transmitter and a photoelectric receiver. In this example, uh, a photoelectric a sensor is used to detect the thermal activity. The sensor is based on an optical light path that is normally blocked by a vein. The vein becomes transparent when there is thermal activity. The sensor is integrated into a wireless sensor network and powered with 2A battery, batteries, sufficient for a service, service lab life around 12 months. And now the question is, which is the best sensor for a snail pet detection? Well, the photoelectric sensor can be adapted to our shelter shape. They don't consume too much power, so there are a good balance choice. Now I'm going to speak about the nail sensor. In conversion photoelectric sensor, a LED emits a beam which is reflected in a target surface. The angle of this reflected beam is measured by the position sensing device, the PSD. Thus, the distance to the uh, target is measured. Several tests with, with, with the sensor were well, showing a full response because this sensor are adapted to the cylindrical shape of the shelter and the response of the sensor depends on the entry ang angle of the in the shelter. So we have to design a custom made photoelectric sensor. LED, infrared LED and photodiodes to sensors that reflect the signals are the, are the front ends of our photoelectric sensor. To determine both the number of LED and photodiodes as well as the path distribution, a study was conducted. The goal of this study was to have an independent response of the entry angles of the snails in the shelter. The best uh, distribution found consists of four, four LED and five photo, photodiodes distributed circularly. In this slide, I show you the conditional circuitry for the LED and photodiodes. The current generated in the photodiodes photodiode is transformed into voltage width with a transimpedance amplifier. The gain is set by resistor R. The resistor R6 and capacitance C adjust the offset and stabilize the output, filtering out high frequency noise, noise uh, and the, the amplifier is implemented with a low input bias current CMOS device. As we can see in this slide, different en uh, entry angle of, angles of the snake produce 
similar voltage distance clock. On the, on the left, we can see the response of the nail entering in the shelter at 135 degrees. This is, this is in front of the slide, element number seven. On the, on the right, we, we can see the response of the snail entry in the shelter at 180 degrees. This is in front of a left. The four a threshold voltage for a comparator within 1.6 and 1.7 can be set, and this comparator uh, will let us know if there are or not snails in the shelter. A printed circuit board adapted to the shelter shape is, is built to include all elements of the photo, photoelectric sensor. Now I'm going to speak about the wireless well sensor mode implementation. Arduino Theo is used to control the photoelectric sensor and to implement the comparator. The most, the most salient feature of Arduino are both a sleep mode in, uh, in which it only consumes about 200 microampere and a XB socket. XB is a wireless module that runs the CB protocol. It also has a sleep mode in, in which it only consumes about 10 microampere. To supply power, power to the system, a lipo battery of 1,000 milliampere per hour is used. Uh, to extend the battery life, a solar cell uh, is chosen. This solar cell provides a maximum voltage of 4.5 volts, a maximum cur current of 100 milliampere. This is the actual appearance of the wireless sensor mode. Now I'm going to speak about the experimental result and the uh, measure process. First, it should be noted that the uh, infrared ba uh, de based detection makes, ha makes it hard to use the sensor during daylight. So our sensor works, works with no background radiation. The gravitation pro process is performed when the mode is turned on for the first time at its final site. In this process, the background voltage without nail is saved. In the measure process, the background radiation is checked and, and the absence uh, of background radiation triggers the snail detection. The, the voltage measured is compared with the voltage measured in the radiation process. And if the, this voltage is higher, there are snails in the shelter, and then the result is transmitted. After calibration, uh, the sensor performs two, two tasks in order to know if there are or not snails in the shelter. First, the sensor measures the background, uh, background radiation without the left working. If there, are, uh, if there is background radiation, this method is repeated after, after uh, 15 minutes. But if there is background radiation, the sensor also uses the left in order to check inside the shelter and then the result is transmitted. Here in this is slide, we can see the percentage of a chair consumed by the, the mode in one day with 12 hours of surveillance. In the table, we can see the start cons uh, consumed by every element of the mode. The Arduino field consumption is the highest. A LiPo battery of 1,000 milliampere per hour is enough to keep the mode on 164 days. To get a, per a perpetual real sen uh, sensor mode, a polar cell is used only five daylight hours of 1.25% uh, of polar cell of uh, 100 million pay of its maximum current is necessary to get a perpetual system. In this photo, we can see the experimental tab uh, used to verify the sensor beh behavior uh, using an infrared camera to watch over the entry of the, of the shelter. In this slide, I show you a sample of a snake detection. O on the left, we can see a constant voltage, the background voltage, and a snail entering in the shelter triggers a voltage change in the comparator. On the, on the, right, on the right, we can see a, a photo took with the infrared camera when the snail is entering in the shelter. Finally, I will recommend the contraction. I show you the importance of early detection of snail pests in agriculture. We designed a wireless sensor mode embedded in a custom-made shelter. We built a custom-made photoelectric sensor that emits infrared light 
and measures the reflected light from this nail. Arduino Pio is used. Uh, Arduino Pio manages the, the control of the sensor, and XB manages the communication. A 1,000 mAh per hour battery supplies the wearable sensor mode for 154 days. And a solar cell leads a perpetual wearable uh, sensor network mode. Thank you for your attention.